this nativity scene, that nativity is a real feature of life at Gloucester Cathedral and much loved by our visitors. And it's said that St Francis of Assisi was the person who first drew a nativity scene together in 1223. That was a living scene filled with people and with animals. And St Francis wanted to take the human heart away from the secular celebration of the festival and draw us back to the incarnation, the miracle of Emmanuel, God with us. Many of us, of course, have our own nativity scenes at home and we have several in our house. Uh, the first we got was from Guatemala when our children were little, beautiful wooden figures. And here are Mary and Joseph. Uh, it is really precious to us. And then a little later on, we were given the most exquisite nativity scene from Kenya, made entirely from banana plants. And then a beautiful soapstone, grey and white, tiny holy family held in a little cave, too delicate to bring out this morning. And finally, this wonderful nativity scene carved entirely from one piece of wood. And when you open it up, there are the holy family hidden inside. Whenever we gaze upon a scene such as this, whether it's this extraordinary nativity or something carved from wood or stone, we are drawn to wonder not only at the skill of those who make them, but the faith that urges them on to create such lovely things. And when we gaze upon them, they draw our heart to the place where our heart needs to be pondering the miracle and the wonder of the incarnation, Emmanuel, God with us, the light who makes radiant the night of this waiting world.